These videos always look a lot easier to film than they are, and I also don't have a lot of fancy recording equipment, so I am sitting behind the camera doing a voiceover for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy my video of my bookmark collection. Welcome back to another video. As you can tell in front of you here, and my lack of presence in front of the camera, I am doing a different video for you guys today, and I am showing off my bookmark collections. So I have my magnetic bookmarks here, which are usually kept in this really pretty Cinderella mug, because it's very pretty and I actually don't want to ruin it, so I haven't used it. So they sit in that mug, and then I have all my stand-up paper bookmarks, which usually sit now in this a mug, which again I have not used, but it's actually one that I would like to use, but right now I use it for bookmarks, so we're going to move that on. So I'm going to go through these bookmarks. I have some from Nerdy Post, I have some from Nerdy Girl Designs, and then just a bunch of other fantastic bookmarks that I have. So let's get on into them. The first bookmark I had when I first started BookTube was this Little Mermaid Ariel Tassel plastic uh, bookmark. And it was the only bookmark I ever had. As you can see, it's got a crease in it, and it is well-loved, well-used, and is still one of my favorite bookmarks. For the rest of my, like, tassel plastic bookmarks, I have this one which says, I read past my bedtime. This my friend Sam from Sam's Nonsense sent in her Christmas package to me. So I got this really pretty bookmark, and I use this one quite a bit as well. I then have this one which says, Go confidently in the direction of your dreams live the life you've imagined. And this is a Henry David Thoreau quote that I bought at Chapters because I needed something to pick me up one day. So I thought, oh look, you can see my camera in the reflection and me. So I picked this one up and I, I really enjoy this one. And I use this one again a lot as well. And I like bookmarks with tassels. I then have these little Disney ones. So these were like a freebie print for like book National Book Day or something and you could print these out and I just happened to have cardstock so I printed these out and made myself some Disney bookmarks. So you have Anna and Elsa here, you have these really cute editions of the Zootopia people or animals, Zootopia, so there's Nick and Judy. And then this really nice Peter Pan one that says, Read and Let Your Imagination Soar. And then a Winnie the Pooh one that says, Reading is Never a Bother. And then I really like this Alice one because she's reading as she's falling down the rabbit hole. And then, of course, Mickey Mouse, Reading is Magical. And then Rapunzel, Best Day Ever. And, again, one of my favorite people, well, Disney characters, Ariel, Reading is the Bubbles. I then have a stack of these freebie book depository ones. So I have the little rocket ship and these color in ones. And for the longest time I was getting just like the desserts and sweet one. And then I finally started getting some different ones. And then I have, I think they're featuring some kid ones or some children's classic ones. So I got this with my, or well one of my orders. But yeah, so these are all my book depository bookmarks. This is a random one from Chapters Indigo. They're like, do you want a free bookmark? I was like, yeah. And then I was like, oh, it's like this cheap, eat, live your best life promo healthier thing. So I was like, eh, why not? I never use it, but it's free. Then I have this little one. It says, if my book is open, your mouth is closed. And this sassy bookmark was sent to me by my friend Felicia from the Little Prairie Library for Christmas. So I like getting bookmarks, especially sassy ones. I then have a bunch of bookmarks that I picked up at the uh, Comic-Con that I go to. And the biggest one in Western Canada is the Calgary Entertainment Expo. And that is the one that my friends and I road trip every year to go and attend. And so I picked up a bunch of freebie bookmarks. So there's like this one that looks like a library card from the Calgary Public Library. That was, it was, they were there in Artist Alley. So we, I picked up a free bookmark. These two are obviously from the same um, artist in Artist Alley, and I had a Mario one, not looking like this, but I had a Mario one as well, and I don't know where that one went, but I have this like mecha or this robot Boba Fett, and then a Cyberman. 
They were giving these bookmarks away for free because they are the business card for the artist. So it's Fable Creative and they are based in Toronto actually. So a lot of places travel out to Calgary for the Entertainment Expo and this artist is one of them. Then I picked up this Baymax bookmark. I didn't notice there was a yin and yang symbol on it until I got it home and I was like, oh, but you know, whatevs. But it has Armor Baymax and Marshmallow Baymax and I just wanted a Baymax bookmark. So one year I actually didn't go to Comic-Con, but my friend Pippin actually picked up this really cute Chibi Thorin bookmark up for me. And I've been looking for this artist in Artist Alley again because I wanted to pick up a few more of them, like Bilbo and Ori, but uh, I can't find her booth again. I don't know if she's coming back. But I'll take a look for her booth again because I would like to get more of these because they're really cute. This artist, I picked up this bookmark. I didn't actually know it was a bookmark. It looked like a like an insert for like a clear phone cover for an iPhone until my friend actually pointed out it was a bookmark because I loved a lot of this artist's artwork and stuff but I didn't know what to buy of theirs to make it practical and worthwhile until they pointed out there was a bookmark which is perfect for me. So this is by Ola Design and they are from BC Canada. Another one I picked up in Artist Alley is this really cute Harry Potter one. It's Books and Cleverness and it's in the Hufflepuff colors. They had, again, Slytherin, Gryffindor, and Ravenclaw colors as well. But I'm a Hufflepuff and so that's what I picked up. I then have a few of my Nerdy Post bookmarks. I love their bookmarks. I love the velvety, buttery feel of them. They're so smooth. So this is the one I got in the Chronicles of Narnia. And so it has this quote from the magician's nephew on the back, and then they always have a, whoops, horizontal quote as well, and this is a quote from Puddleglum. This was the one in the Marvel box, so it has a Captain America quote on the front, and then the horizontal quote is a Thor quote, and they kind of went with the Ragnarok type print. The latest one I got was the Disney Villains, and it had this fabulous quote from Gaston, which is I found this very fitting. And then it has this quote in the back from Shere Khan from The Jungle Book. Last but not least, I have a pile of bookmarks from Nerdy Girl Designs. So I have this Lord of the Rings one that has one of my favorite quotes from The Lord of the Rings on it. Then I have this really cute one, again, from The Lord of the Rings with my favorite Sam quote on it. And Sam is one of my favorite Lord of the Rings characters. So this one I had to have. The other one I have is a Hunger Games with Effie Trinket. This is a... Uh, Cinder or the Lunar Chronicles bookmark. And then I thought I lost this bookmark until I found it in my Chamber of Secrets book and it is a Nymphadora Tonks bookmark and she is one of my favorite Hufflepuffs so I had to get her in a bookmark. Moving on to my magnetic bookmarks I have these two which I also picked up in Artist Alley at Calgary Expo. I they were really cheap, but they're actually cheaply made as well, like the magnets. For Iron Man, it stays on, but for Captain America, like, the magnet is not working. So, they're actually really cheap, but they were cute at the time. The next one I have is this Itty Bitty Tiny Beaver, and this was sent to me by my friend Gina from Randomly Bookish Gina. She sent the beaver to me because I'm Canadian. And it's super tiny, so I'm trying not to lose it, and I'm really happy I haven't lost it yet. The next set of bookmarks are these really cute magnetic Harry Potter bookmarks that were sent to me by my friend Amy from Amy C Books. So bookmarks are a lot of fun to send in the mail, and they're really cheap to send to international friends. So I highly recommend it if you got bookish friends. A really cute set of bookmarks is a great thing to ship to each other. I then have a set of these magnetic bookmarks from Chapters, so a couple of them have quotes on them. This one's obviously my favorite. I got a couple of these from my friend Felicia, again, um, from the Little Prairie Library, so bookmarks are great to send. And then I just have a couple of these. They have the geometric shapes on them, and just, they're really pretty, fancy magnetic bookmarks. And these would be really good to travel with because they would be easy enough to travel with, but hard enough to lose. The rest of all my magnetic bookmarks are now from Nerdy Girl Designs. So these two I got, she always sends out a little, like, holiday or seasonal themed 
bookmark with your order. So I had two orders around Halloween. So I got this little, um, I think she's Princess Sparkles is the character. So I got a little devil and a little grim reaper. I don't celebrate Halloween, but they're still pretty cute. One of the first things I ordered from her was this Hufflepuff magnetic bookmark because I am House Hufflepuff and I don't, well, didn't have a lot of things from Hufflepuff and now I have this really nice bookmark which I really enjoy using. So this one I think I use the most out of my magnetics. The next set I have is this Christmas set of uh, Harry Potter bookmarks I got from her. So there's like a, an owl or a snowman that looks like Hedwig with the sorting hat and a Gryffindor scarf. Hermione on a stack of books, Ron and Scabbers, Harry on his broom, Crookshanks looking absolutely miserable, and Hagrid. And he even has an itty bitty little Norbert sitting on his arm blowing fire while they're drinking hot cocoa. At Christmas time I made an order as well and got this really cute uh, Christmas cats in a Christmas box bookmark which she again that was part of the seasonal additional bookmarks you get with your order. I then got these two quote bookmarks magnetic and this one is a hobbit quote and this one again is not all those who wonder are lost because if you haven't figured it out I really like that quote because I have it on everything now. And last but not least, I have my beautiful Sailor Scouts bookmarks that I got. This was one that I saved up to order from because I really wanted the Sailor Scout bookmarks she had. They're very cute. I grew up obsessed with the original North American Sailor Moon, especially the five inner scouts. I don't really know any of the later seasons, but these were the girls I grew up obsessed with watching and I really wanted to add them to my Sailor Moon collection. So those are all of my bookmarks and the bookmark collection that I have. As you can tell, I have quite a few from Nerdy Girl Designs, which I'll leave the link down below for her shop for you guys to go check out. I'll also leave the link down below for a Nerdy Box if you guys wanted to check out that subscription. I'm not a rep for any of these shops. I just really like them. They're both really good uh, subscription and shops that I shop so if you guys want to check them out I'll leave them linked down below. Let me know in the comments below what you guys use as bookmarks. Do you guys have a collection like this? Do you prefer paper bookmarks, magnetic bookmarks, or do you dog ear your book pages? As always guys let me know in the comments below. I love chatting with you guys and as always I'll see you guys next time. Bye!